I'm going to show you how you can add signing capabilities to Airtable forms. I'll be using this tool by miniextensions.com and I will add a role to this in the description. Make sure to have a pro Airtable account if, you, uh, if you're going to use this tool because this tool requires a redirect URL function which is only available in the pro accounts. So let's go ahead and go through the live demo here. So the idea is you would, uh, your customer would use this form and then maybe you'd have some URLs to some waivers or even have the sort of the waiver text be inside of the form itself. Um, and then the user would fill up that form, hit submit, and then they would be redirected to our website. And then they would, uh, we would collect their hand signature. So they would sign here. And then when they would send their signature, that signature would be an attachment that's connected to the record that was created for them um, from the form. So this got um, sent and then I come here and then I find the record that was just created with the form and then the signature that I just signed. Um, so if you buy the tool, this is what you would see. Start by filling the first three things here, follow the blue URLs to find those, and then um, grab the name of the field that will have the uh, signatures, make sure it's, a, it's an attachment field and make sure um, you get the exact case uh, sensitive here. And then if you need a custom redirect URL at the end, so at the end of it, we sent you to just the success message. If you need a custom one, add it here and then we'll redirect to that instead. So I'm just going to show you how you would set this up. So you would set it up by going to your form and then um, you would add a redirect URL here. So you'd grab that redirect URL from the settings here, grab that, and then enable this. And this is the part that requires that prior table account. Then you'd save this. Um, and then every time you would open this URL uh, for the form and make a submission through the form, you'd get redirected to this URL. One last thing here is that you could also add multiple tables here. There's actually no limit on how many tables you can make. So you can make as many of these forms as you'd like, um, connected to different tables, different bases, however you'd like them to be.